This will be yours. You must be Alex. Hi, I'm Detective Nash. So the nurse tells me that you have a concussion, that you got your head banged up today. You want to tell me how that happened? Not really. Did someone hurt you? I'm from a crappy little town you've never heard of. And today, my parents just kicked me out of our house. <sighs> my hair, the, the way I dress, they thought it was just a face, but it's not. They couldn't handle the truth. They just made it about what everyone else was going to say. And so you left and came here. That girl I told you about, she lives here. Well, who was driving the car? Her brother. He came home, he saw us together, and he just flipped out. She was my only friend. Well, the social worker will be here soon. She'll help us figure this out. My head hurts. Can you call a nurse? Of course. Come check on you in a bit. So Alex has been dealt some pretty bad luck. There's nothing we can do about that, but we can track down the son of a bitch who's stuffed him in the trunk of a car. Plates are registered to a house in a tow. Go, go check it out. I will wait for the social worker. Okay. All right. Thanks. Hey, any luck tracking Alex? That's a big fat negative. It's Dawn's. She left it in our squad car and it's been buzzing nonstop. Open the bag. Get your phone out. It's Alex. Answer it. No. Don, answer your phone. I'm serious. Answer the phone. He came here to be with me. I was supposed to make it better. Instead, I got him beat up and thrown away like a piece of garbage. Alex, it's Officer McNally. What? No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Stop. What? I couldn't really understand what he was saying, but I think that he was calling to tell Don goodbye for good. Head to the bus station. Maybe we'll catch a break and you'll find out it's waiting for a bus home. Yeah, and if we're not that lucky, I'm gonna talk to Don again. I'm hoping she knows more than she thinks. Come on, Alex, pick up the phone. Here, just send him a text and say that Don needs to talk to him and just see if you can get him on video. Alex? It's Officer McNally. Where's Dawn? She says she needs she says she needs to see me. I know, Dawn is really worried about you. She asked me to talk to you. Andy, he doesn't sound good. Alex, you gotta tell us where you are. Dawn, I'm so so sorry. Everything just just got all screwed up. I have to put the phone down now, okay? No, no, wait, Alex, just... Crap. Hey, Trace, we just had him on video. It looked like he was in a motel room. Did Alex say anything about a motel, anywhere he might be staying? No, he didn't. Okay, what else did you see in the video? A bed, a couple windows. Uh, the doors look bright red. Like fire engine red? Yeah. Try the Silver Beach Motel. We did a John Sweep there two months ago. All right, Silver Beach Motel. It's Park Long Lake Shore. Medics to the Silver Beach Motel. Unit 1509. Gail, I need something. What did 
you do? My parents won't talk to me. They won't even look at me. Nobody will talk to me. You should have just left me. Look, I, I don't know how hard it is to be you. But that is not the answer. Look at me. You are not worthless. I don't know what else to do. I think you just keep going. And every day it just gets better little by little. How do you know? Look, you're 15 years old and you already know who you are. I mean, that takes most people such a long time to figure out. Believe me. I think you're incredibly brave. And you're smart and kind. And honestly, the world is a better place with you in it. I just met you, and I'm sure of that. So, let's keep going. Okay. You ready to hit the highway? I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer. Just make sure they're okay. Actually, you know what? Why don't you guys just go without me? Oh, no. I am not going without you. I barely want to go with you. Okay. Well, I'll drive up tomorrow. You sure? Yes. 